What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video we're drawing Perito from Puss in Boots. Let's begin today's lesson in the center of a page and draw two large circles for the eyes. We're gonna start with the one on the left. Start from the very top, go all the way around toward the bottom of the eye, and then back up towards the top. Now you want to leave a gap in between the eyes and draw the same size circle on the right. So we'll start by lining up the top of that circle. We want to bring that down toward the same height and then back up towards the top. Now from here we're going to pull the pupils towards the inside of the eye. Let's start from the inside on the left and draw another circle going up. Let's round up the eye and just pull that in towards the bottom. Let's line this up on the right and go up down the side and then back in. Now I'm going to add two small highlight circles on the top of each pupil. Bring that down and up. And it will fill the inside of the pupils in black. And we want to go around that highlight. All right, from here we're gonna move to the center and draw the top edge of the nose. We're gonna start on the left, bend this up, and bring that back down. Now from the side, we're gonna bend the nose coming down and then in towards the middle, towards the point. Let's add two small half circles along the side of the nose and on the bottom, and we'll fill the nostrils in black. Let's go to the tip of the nose, draw a short line coming down. Now let's draw on the left side. And come down and then bend that up at a small bracket across the end. Let's go back to the center. We're going to curve the right side going up and then down. Now add a tooth going up and down like an upside down V. Now I'm going to pull the tongue down on the left side. So we're going to start right in the middle, come down and then bend that back. Now from here we're going to draw the outside of the muzzle. Let's start from the left side of the nose, bend this down, and then up towards the side. Now come down, and we'll tuck that in behind the tongue on the left. Go to the top right, come down, and then in behind the tongue on the right side. Now from here we're going to move up to the side and draw on the cheeks. We're going to line up with the top of the eye over on the left, bend this down, and then out. We'll do the same thing on the right. Let's pull that back in to create a point. And go out and then down. And then pull that back in. Let's round up the jaw. Come down and pull that in towards the bottom of the muzzle. Now we're going to draw the bottom edge of the hat. Let's start over on the left. We're going to curve this up above the eye and bend that down. Move over towards the right and do the same thing. Now you want to close off the center with a curve. Coming down and then back up. Let's add a trim along the center of the head. So we'll start over on the left. Bend this in, down, and then out. Go to the right. And now from here we're going to draw on the top of the head. Let's start over on the left, curve this up toward the top, so round this out, and then bring that down toward the left side. Let's add in the ears. We're going to move over towards the left, bend the ear going up, and then out. Let's line this up on the right. And then from the tip of the ear, we're going to come straight down, and then bend that in. I'm going to add a large button on the top left, so we'll start with a circle, and we'll draw an X in the middle. Let's go over towards the right and draw a smaller circle for the right eye, 
and I'll move to the center, start with a straight line going across the top, and it'll bend this down and back up towards the right. Now I'm gonna add some crooked whiskers going out along the side. Let's start from the base of the ear, and we'll go up with a straight line, down, and then up. Let's move down and draw another one. Coming down, down, and then up. And once we complete the head, let's move down and draw the side of the collar. We start over on the left side, then this down, and then in. Let's go all the way over towards the right. Now you want to bring that down towards the same height, because we're going to close this off with another curve. Come down the middle, and then back up. Now from the bottom corners of the collar, we're going to bump out the sweater. We're going to go out and in. And then from here, we're going to bend the legs, coming in, and then down towards the bottom. Let's go over towards the right. And I want to leave a gap in between the heel. Let's round out the bottom of the feet, starting on the left, come down and up. Let's add a half circle for the top of the foot, going up and then down. Now you want to separate the paws with two curves. We start with the outside, going up and in, and the gap, and draw that again. Now we're going to go back up towards the top and just bend the outside the leg, coming in and then down on top of the feet. Let's add a trim along the top, in between the legs, coming down and up. Step down, add another curve, and then just up above the heels, draw a straight line going across. Let's add three small half circles on the bottom of the feet in the middle of each toe. Let's fill it in black. Now we're going to tuck the hind feet in behind. Let's start from the left side, draw another half circle, going up and then down, then this down and then tuck that in toward the side. Let's separate the paws with two curves. And we'll add two small half circles along the bottom for the paws and fill those in black. Now let's draw the rest of the hind leg. Start from the side, then it's up and out. Round up the knee, come down and then in on top of the feet. Let's add the tail coming out from the right side and go out and then up. I just want to taper that back in. And I'll add some dirt spots across the sweater. Let's finish off our drawing by signing our art and adding a splash of color. And that's pretty much it. That's how we draw Perito from Puss in Boots. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please smash that like button because I'm posting new lessons every single day. And you might want to check out this video over here. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.